Today we are joined by seven time number one billboard charting artist, Grammy nominated, stellar dog winner, y'all radio show host, actress. She's doing it all, Jacqueline Carr. Hey everybody, it's Jacqueline Carr and you are watching Gospel Music Buzz. Yo, we are back with another episode of The Buzz. I'm your host, Sherwin with Gospel Music Buzz. Welcome to the show. How are you, Jacqueline? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Indeed, indeed. I know you have a packed month. I mean, just even last night, but actually before we jump into it, I believe you were celebrating with Pastor Shirley Caesar, the Jubilee celebration. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. How was that? Yeah, it was so good. Good. It was. It's always great. Um, I actually hadn't been <clears throat> back to her conference in a while, and so to mm. be back, it was so so amazing. Um, and of course, we have seen each other many times yeah. between the time period of me not being there, but um, just every time I get a chance to see her, it's always a beautiful experience. And I tell all the time, listen, I pray for that longevity that you have. Yes, yes. Grace to keep going. I pray for that every day. <laughs> so it was great. That's so true. I actually saw a video with her jumping into someone and the person was like lifting her and picking her yes, up. And she's just having a just, ball. I'm like, I, I love it all. <laughs> I love it. I mean, that's what living looks like yeah. and happiness. So yeah. That's 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 awesome. And speaking of uh Speaking of fun, it was really fun to see you in uh, Praise This, the movie, you know, playing playing Kiki in, in the movie. <laughs> Kiki, su super Yay. ghetto, ki super ghetto <laughs> Kiki, which is far from far from you. So just, you know, just tell us, what was it like stepping into that role? It was great, actually. Now, if my family... Would were here, they would definitely say, Yeah, she was playing herself. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, it's it's just that um my personality uh was mm -hmm. able to show, you know, through the character and all that good stuff because you know, by me doing what I do all the time, yeah. you see me all the time on stage. If it's not on stage, it's something pertaining to purpose. And so you very rarely get to see the big personality that I have because I'm also an assistant and introvert too, but I'm mm. getting better. I'm getting yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but to be able to, you know, do that and to successfully do it with great, great, great people, it was such a beautiful experience. I had so much fun. It was never a dull moment. We laughed, mm. we laughed, we laughed. And so, yeah, I enjoyed it. And some of the people to this day tell me that that was their favorite character in the movie. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely was for me as well. Because, again, it was just kind of, you know, when you, you think you know someone just by the little bit that you've seen and then just seeing you in that light, it was just, it, it was really funny. It was just cool to look at. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned, actually, that I, I know the Dove Award is, is coming up. You got you were nominated yourself along with a collaboration you did with Blanc with uh, Blanca New Day. So are you excited to kind of just jump into Nashville again? Like, what is some of the things you usually look forward to just going around the Dove Award scenes? I'm, I'm excited. You know, anytime I go to award shows like the Doves, the Stellars, for me, it always feels like um, a family reunion in a sense. Mm. And so... Um, and then being able to perform and be nominated, all of that is great. And this year I'm going with my sister, Blanca, oh, like we yeah. met, um, I think it was like the beginning of last year, if I'm not mistaken. And we've been going strongly ever since then. Like that is my sister. Do you hear me? Like my sister. And, um, to even do a song like New Day was mm -hmm. um, quite different from what you would hear me do on my own albums. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but it was so bright, you know, and just so right. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I enjoyed it and I had fun doing it. So we'll be at the Dove Awards this year. And it's, I mean, I'm also looking forward to it uh, this year too, because it's album week for me. So yes, yeah, yes, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I was just going to jump into that as well too, with the new self-titled album, yeah. Chikalin. Now, you know, seeing self-titled, but also kind of going back because I was going through some of your older 
uh, music and even going back to one of your older album, Greater is Coming, you know, almost over 10 years ago. And just, you know, there was it was a little Jekyllian at that point because, you know, much, much more now, but just seeing the evolution, seeing the growth musically, spiritually, business-wise, even fashion-wise as well, too. Mm-hmm. Just kind of, you know, what is the statement you believe this new album is going to make at you at this point of your career and even life? Yeah. Well, you said the word evolution. I think it's going to really get people to see me um, the multifaceted Jacqueline when it comes to music. We see that mm-hmm. through, you know, the assignments that God give me, radio, television, whatever, but through music, you get a chance to see that. And this is actually my, uh, it's been four years since I recorded yeah. an album. And with that being said, within that time period, I really wanted, anybody who knows me knows that I ain't gonna move if I ain't heard them speak. Mm-hmm. And, <laughs> you know, I'm always gonna see what direction he wants me to go in, not just the music he wants me to sing. And so during this time, God allowed me to know and to understand, I put more in you and you cannot allow what you have done um, yourself or others hold you to a certain sound because that's what you're used to doing. And so God allowed me to, because he was giving me songs that had like different styles. Um, Mm -hmm. Other than what I I'm, I was used to doing. And mm-hmm. so I'm like, okay, are we sure? And he's like, yes, I'm giving you the green light to go. And understanding that God uses different people with different styles. You have uh, gospel country. You have gospel rap, gospel jazz, mm-hmm. God, traditional, God, all these different styles. But at the end of the day, the message is the same. We're all reaching people. And that's what this album is doing. I believe it is going to, it has broadened my reach a little bit more. When I tell you, we're going to the islands. We're going to okay. Jamaica. Okay. We're going to- <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have a little, um, a little uh, hip hop. Okay. We, of course, I, I did a little traditional, um, but I kind of modernized it a little bit. Like mm. I didn't want to go too far out there, but I'm, you know, kind of gave, gave it a little twist. And moreover, my biggest thing was, I don't want you to just bop. I want you, I want to be singing about something. And so, yeah, yeah, uh, even though the styles may be different, um, some of the styles may be different, the message is there. And the the words that we're saying is there. And I believe in my heart, it's going to touch your heart. You know, and I and I love that. I know the album is available for for pre-order right now. Once they pre-order the album, they're gonna get a few tracks with with that already. And you know, mm-hmm. the most recent one that you just released, God of War. You know, what I noticed with that, and even some of the others that you released within 2023, they're all accompanied by just very purposeful and powerful features. You know, seeing you collaborating a whole lot more. And that's been super exciting to see as well, too. So can we expect a few more of that on the album as well, too? Like, do we have a few uh, collaborations in there? Yes, yes, yes. Um, And that's another thing differently that I did for this album, the collaborations. And I sat down literally and studied each song Mm -hmm. and heard who I heard on the the song and just let it play in my ear, reached out, everybody agreed. And just took the songs to where they were supposed to be taken to. Um, I'm featuring my sister, Blanca, Tasha Cobbs, Leonard, uh, Kirk Franklin, Pastor Mike Jr., who was Papa Son, oh, Tim yes. Bowman Jr. Um, is one more I'm missing, Mike Cheesy. Uh, oh, Pierre Sheer Kelly, Taron Wells. Listen, I was... It's, it's, it's a few of them, so I want to make sure I didn't want to forget any, but yes, um, wow. It's, wow. I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, you listen, I, I think we're all excited after the last few years, we're all excited to just, you know, dive directly into this music, <laughs> dive directly into this growth, this evolution, and just, you know, just, I guess it's one of those questions, you know, knowing that you're such a great writer artist all together but typically how do you gain your inspiration are you just sitting at home you get something you're walking you're like where do you find yourself writing more often you know it's different for me for each song um like for example god of war Mm -hmm. there was very something very interesting that was happening um or a moment that was happening it was in april and um 
literally, I'm sitting in my hotel room and I just got, I've never heard of a battle. You battle for your children if you do not win. So God allowed me to write a song from that experience. And then it's the same thing with uh, you get, you will win. Um, and my dad wrote Greater's Coming. So he was, mm. no, you're bigger. Well, he wrote Greater's Coming too, but you're bigger. He was in church. Uh, I wrote songs while I was on the plane. I wrote songs while I was in, like, literally in my sleep, like, drink, singing in my dream. Wow. Um, so it really depends on how God chooses to give it to me. <laughs> mm, that's, that's, that's powerful. And that's, uh, yeah, God, God of war. When I listen, to, I've been listening to that song over and over. And I feel like in the season that even I'm in right now, just listening to the words of that song and just drawing on it and just singing it back over and yeah. over is definitely one of those declarative songs but knowing what you're saying is purposeful yeah. is powerful and you can just keep mm -hmm. declaring it over and over so definitely yeah. you know thank you for your obedience in going forward and releasing <laughs> that one because so far yeah. you know that's that's definitely a great a great song thank for sure. you thank you so much and you know i know we're coming up a little bit on the top of time but i know you're also going to be out in uh new york you're going to be at, out in new york at the uh building a better tomorrow together in hempstead sda church so you know let the people know that they need to come out there they need to see you there they need to be at this event so you know talk a little bit about that that's november 4th i believe oh, what just happened Okay. I saw something move. Sorry, what? Okay, there you go. What in the world? Okay, <laughs> we're 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 gonna keep rolling. I know we still a little bit yes. got a little bit of time, so I'll I'll rephrase it real quick. I know uh, you're gonna be at the SDA Church for the uh the building a better tomorrow uh together in Hempstead SDA Church. So tell the people they need to come on out. They need to be at this event. So touch a little bit on that. Yes, listen, you want to be at this event because Jesus is going to be there. I'm just Come on now. Out. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be a wonderful experience. I cannot wait to come. You know, I always like to make sure that you have a God experience. You leave not just on a hype, but you leave with breakthrough. And yes. so um, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be singing some of your favorite songs and all of that. So it's going to be a wonderful experience. So I also challenge you to not just keep it to yourself, but to tell as many people as you can, share it, post it, scream it from the mountaintop. It's about to go down. I'm excited about it. You don't want to miss it. Yes, yes. And we're going to be in the building. We're super excited to be able to just, you know, hear some of the songs from the new New album that's already would have dropped. New album coming October 20th, correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> dropping October 20th. You guys can still pre-order right now. Pre-ordering gets from the tracks is going to be available before again. Jacqueline, new album coming, guys. You definitely want to keep it locked. You want to tune into this. Jacqueline, any last words of encouragement before you go? I know right now there's a whole lot that's happening. Anyone turning on the news? anyone doing anything, there's a lot of turmoil, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot that's happening around. What word of encouragement do you have for people today before you go? I want to I want to encourage you, despite what you hear, what you see, what you feel, don't let the devil strip you from your weapon of prayer. It is prayer in this time that is going to bring every single thing that has been fighting you to destruction. It is prayer that God is going to use to bring your opposer to shame. You must know and you understand that when you continue to release these words, these prayers, these declarations into your atmosphere, everything has got to come subject. So whatever you do, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. God hears you. I don't care what the devil told you. 
God hears you. And not only is it is he the God who hears, but he's the God who answers, who responds, and he will give you exactly what you need. So I'm praying with you too, praying for you. I may not know you. I may not know your exact situation, but what I don't know, God knows. And my prayer is that he will meet you where you are and he will give you what you need to keep thriving and to keep moving forward in life. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much to Kaylin. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. You have a great day. You're Kaylin. welcome. You too. All right. Bye. Okay. Mm-hmm.